Chow from the Siena School for Liberal Arts. For this, our final chapter of our drawing tutorial section, we're taking on the challenging subject of portrait drawing. Here in Siena, we have the wonderful opportunity to draw from works of art, which can be found right here in the city center. And I have to say that sculptures make excellent models. They keep very still, and they don't care if the portrait you make is flattering or not. I find it's easy to think of the portrait rather as a head structure. And just to think about the basic geometric lines that underlie that structure. So for example, the oval shape of the skull itself, a sort of column for the neck, and also just thinking of the main axis lines. For example, an axis line down the front of the head and an axis line right in the middle of the head that indicates the level of the eyes, right in the middle of that egg shape. And then from there, looking again at that center axis lines, the center of the eyes, but then also finding the other features of the face which are parallel to those lines, for example, the brow, the nose, the mouth, and finding the line between the brow and the nose, the bottom of the nose, then gets us to the placement of the ear at the side of the face. And then from there, my approach is using a sort of connect the dots um, way of drawing in features, not by actually outlining the features, but just looking for their end points. So for example, here I'm looking at the end points of the eye, where it begins and where it ends, rather than actually outlining the eye. This way, if I need to make any adjustments, it's much easier to just mo move these two points rather than to redraw the whole eye. So likewise, the end points for the nose, the mouth, and also keeping in mind where the center line of the face is. And from there, you know, if time allows, being able to get into some more shading, looking for the shadow shapes, and seeing how that also can give more of a sense of volume to the portrait. So do try this at home, or better yet, come here to Siena and we can do some drawing together. If you'd like to stay updated for our activities here at the Siena School for Liberal Arts, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.